tissue. So this is an example of endogenous or internal bud. Now, next we will see the spore formation. You have studied in your lower classes again about the spore formation taking place in your bread mold. Bread mold. That is your rhizopus. Right? We will see in detail some different name of some different spores which give rise to this new intermediates here. Now new terms, let us see some new terms. What is that new term? Let us see. Spores are minute, single-celled, thin or thick walled. What is it called as? Propagules. Right? This is a new term for you. Spore formation is common in your monera, protista, algae and fungi. Okay, so here you will feed, see that spore formation. Now, the spores can be formed in a special structures. Right? They have got a special structures where you, these spores are formed. For you know, this is a very common example and you have always seen in a mucor, rhizopus, that it has got a bob-like structure. And what is this whole structure called as? Sporangiospore. Okay, and in this you will see that spores are being formed and these spores formation takes place and gets dispersed. Right, now when you are talking about spores, spores can be motile and non-motile. As the word denotes motile spores, they are called as zoospores and they have got flagellars. They have got flagellars with the help of the flagellars they get dispersed and a very good example of that is your chlamydomonas here just once uh, typing error is there student here it will be a so please note that error over here it will be a now next is your non motile spore as the word denotes it is not movable it cannot move right and here let us see this figure can you recognize this yes this is penicillium. Now on this penicillium, you will see that exogenously small spores are coming out here like this. Can you see here? Chain of spores. And this chain of spores is called as conitia. Right? Now this all will break up and it will get dispersed.